Hello, space travelers! Welcome back to Keanu's Pikmin Let's Plays! In the last episode, we managed to gather more parts, and we unlocked the Distant Spring, where we're going to go to later. So, in the last episode, we explored more of the dis of the Forest of Hope, but we're going to travel back to the Impact Site to retrieve a ship part from there. Because apparently there's one more ship part that we need beside the... There's one more ship part. Okay. Okay, let's do some exploring. I'll actually get ten. Ten of the blue Pikmin. Ten of the yellow Pikmin. And ten of the red Pikmin. Oh, Flip Beetle, Flip Beetle! Here goes a Flip Beetle. Come here, you! Come here, you! Come here, you! Oh. No, 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 no! Oh yeah, that, that weird thing, that's a Mamuta. That stone looking thing, it's called a Mamuta. Let's blow up this wall first. Watch, I'm gonna... I'm gonna blow up this Mamuta. I didn't kill him. Hold on a second. I'll put the, the yellows back and the blues back, and I'll leave the fighting to the to the reds because they're because they're more tougher than the others. They're tougher than the others. Okay. Oh, there's a ye oh, yellow Pikmin that was... Okay, so this thing is the Mamuta. So what it does, it doesn't crush your Pikmin, it just it just slams them into the ground and it puts them back on puts them back in the ground. It re it replants them, if you could say. And I killed them. I killed them. Okay, we just gotta look out the Pikmin. That he slammed into the ground. I'll save that for the... I'll save that for the blue Pikmin. Oh, these things. These are pearly clam clamps. Those weird clam looking things. They're called pearly clam clamps. So what they do is that... So if a Pikmin were to wander inside of them, they'd, they'd open up and then... And whammo! They, it's like a Venus flytrap almost. Or in this case, it's a Venus Pikmin trap. Okay, almost there. Oh wait, it's not done yet. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Okay, you stay right there. Oh! Got another innocent foot beetle. He's so fast. I think the angry video game nerds should really play this game. Back into the ground. Okay. Okay, so watch what the pearly plant plant does. When you throw it in, into here, it opens up and then... And if any Pikmin is were in there, then it would snap shut and eat them. I found the Positron Generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate an incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. Those instant space noodles will taste better if heated up. Ow, he got some. Oh yeah, he uses the Positron Generator to heat up instant space noodles. Almost there. Perfect! The Positron Generator is back. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, take the Mamuta back to the onion. Mm, there's a 20 pellet. Yeah, pellets come in different numbers and stuff like that. Yeah, the 20 ones, are, so they're, they come in ones, two, they come in ones, fives, tens, and twenties. There it is. Okay. Okay, bring it here, bring it here. Almost there, we're almost there. In we go. The mother load.
And we just pluck out these Pikmin. And boom! Okay, 75 blue Pikmin. Okay, now let's go to Sunset. Okay. 10 days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the Dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a nude attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. Excuse me. Let's go back to the forest of hope. There's, there's two more pieces we have to find in the forest of hope. Okay, it's somewhere over there. Okay. I thought the red I thought the red pick they were tough guys. I'm gonna need the blue Pikmin for this. I'm gonna I need the blue Pikmin in order to get the get the piece that's over there and push that big box. Okay, we just put the reds back in the onion. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. A 
Okay, we just need to push this box. We just gotta push this box out of the way. There we go! Now we just throw the rest of the piston up here. Yeah, I'm rapidly pressing the A button to throw the Pikmin. Oh. When you have a lot of Pikmin, it, it sometimes... When you have a big, big squad of Pikmin with you, sometimes they'll fall off the edge if you if you're not careful. Whoa! Oh, this is another iconic enemy from the Pikmin series. This is the Burrowing Snagret. You might also remember this guy from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as a assist trophy. Yeah, his weak spot is his head. You have to aim for the head. It's just like in Centipede. Aim for the head. And it's dead. There are three of them here, actually. I wouldn't call this guy a boss, really. These are more of a mini-boss. Aim for the head. <laughs> I like how it makes a sound. Okay, there's just one more. There's one more right here. That's where the piece is. That's where the piece is. Yes! Voila! A piece! It's the Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of those, but I don't actually know what it's, what it's for. Every once in a while it goes wild and lets out a, a, loud noise, a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it. So it doesn't do much... Do, do, so it doesn't do we do me much good. I really should read that manual one of these days. Okay. Oh, those little tadpole things? Those are wall poles. They were originally called wall wog poles, but... Just like the Wally Wall, just like what they did with Wally Wogs, they made them wall poles. It's another piece. Come on.
Come on. There we go. Oh, son of a blockage. You have to build a bridge in order to... You have to build a bridge. Oh, they put the Geiger counter back. Perfect! This noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of it can be kind of annoying. Come on, build that bridge. Okay. Okay, I'll get the rest of the blues. This could take a while to build that bridge. Oh, crap, sheer grubs! Oh yeah, Olimar can also attack with his fists, but it does really, it's really weak. Walpoles. Yeah, the wall poles are pretty much, uh, pretty much, uh, baby Wally hops. They're just like, they're just like tadpoles in real life. Site's finished. Perfect. Okay. I know you could take that in the water. Or not. I found my Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to it brings to mind visions of my son back home on planet Hakotate. Oh, to be oh to be back there right now. Don't worry, Olimar. Your ship is almost repaired. Once your ship is repaired, you can return home. Also, did you, yeah, Olimar apparently has a family. He has a wife, two kids, and a pet. Also, if they ever come out with a Pikmin 5, I think they should come out with... I think they should actually have his family join him on his expedition. That being his wife and his two kids. The Sagittarius is back. This was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. 
Okay, now we just end the day. There's one more part that's in the, the forest navel. 11 days since impact. It is very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking where were some parts I did, do not need. A daydream. Okay. okay. We found all the parts in the impact site in the Forest of Hope, but there's one more part in the Forest Naval we need to find. It's in water, so we'll need the blue Pikmin for this. Hmm. Well, the Pikmin needs some nectar. Thankfully, there's some nectar grass right here. Wait, save some for the others! Greedy little guy, greedy little guys, aren't they? Okay. Oh no, more Wally hops. Come back, come back, come back! Ramune soda bottle. Yep, it's a Ramune soda bottle. Yeah, if you don't know what Ramune soda is, it's a type of soda that's in Japan. Has anybody tried Ramune soda? It's a, it's a unique type of soda that's sold in Japan. Just need to get rid of these Wally Hops. Yes! It's the antidioxin filter. This fits over the ro rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel worlds better. Okay, take that back to the ship. Also, there's a short that's on YouTube that I'll put a, put a link in the description. It's called, it's a Pikmin short movie called Treasure in a Bottle, where this red Pikmin is trying to f get this marble that's in this Ramune soda bottle. And the other Pikmin try to help him out. <gasps> Watch out for that fiery blue hog! And we're gonna have to fight this, this flaming bastard. Gonna have to take out these things. Ah! 
Come on, take him back, take him back, take him back. I'll distract him. Hey, over here. Phew, that was close. Now it's smooth sailing back to the ship. Now it's just smooth sailing. Uh, yeah, perfect. Come on, keep going. Get up there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the ship parts will get stuck. They'll get wedged in between sections. They're almost back to the camp. Okay, that's it, that's it. Almost there, and there we go. There we go. Voila! Anti-deoxid filter is back. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. Okay, now let's end the day. We found all the pick parts in this area. Now we can move on to the distant spring. 12 days since impact. The Pikmin, the Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicates that taking food pellets to onions of the same color results in the release of larger numbers of Pikmin, of Pikmin, of Pikmin seeds. I've also found ways to group Pikmin by color. I can hold the A button to grab one, then press the R button, the R trigger button to swap it out. Or I could just press the A button to grab one for a moment, or press the X button to dismiss them into like colored groups. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna travel to the distant spring. See a ship part. This is it's a water it's a water area. It's, it's close to it's covered in water. And we'll find some new enemies here. Oh, there's one of them. This is a puffy blowhog. Unlike the fiery blowhog, it, 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 Pretty much, it blows down your Pikmin. It pretty much knocks over your Pikmin by blowing air at it. And when it when it's defeated, it just deflates like a balloon. Which is pretty hilarious. another one of the this is one of the more annoying enemies of, of the pikmin series this right there that flying thing that's a swooping snitch bug the reason why it's called that is well just watch yeah these things they fly in the air and when they when they see your pikmin they swoop down and they and they and they grab your pikmin and then they carry them off to a location and then they put them back in the ground This is another this is another variation of bull borb. This is the spotty bull bear. Also look at its spots on its back the spots on its back. They're pulsating.
This thing's hard. there. Yes! Got him! One, two, three, four, five. One. Come on. Uh, oh, excuse me. Okay, let's put the swoopy, bring the swooping snitch bug to the onion. Hip! Hip! Do you think they should really make a Pikmin movie? I'd love to see that. Aha. Oh yeah, this is a another version of Wally Hop. This is the yellow Wally Hop. Unlike the other one that we found in the in, in the forest navel, this one is yellow and this one's yellow. It's a little bit of green on it. No, wait, 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 wait. Get the Wally, get the Wally hop. Okay. Tuck in. Tuck in. Pluck, pluck. Okay. I'm gonna explore the place with the blue Pikmin. No wait, not the yellows, the blue, the blue ones. Explore the water areas. Hmm. There's gotta be a ship part somewhere. Oh, no. See that egg thing? You know what's in that side of that egg? And this thing is the hardest boss in the game. Watch. Uh-oh. There it is. Say hello to the Smoky Prog. Yeah, this is probably the hardest enemy to beat in Pikmin, Pikmin 1. 
Yes, apparently a default. A rumors, legends say that this thing is a def, a uh, an, a larval stage of a, of the Mamuta. So apparently that trail that that it trails behind is actually poison, and this was before pick before the white Pikmin were introduced. So you have to so you have to uh, so you have to attack its face. Also, apparently this thing gave kids nut gave kids nightmares when they first played it. Along with another character. Oh, I'm losing Pikmin fast. No, 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 no. You keep touching the trail. I need the red Pikmin for this. In Pikmin 4, they brought this guy back, but... They brought this guy back in Pikmin 4. Oh, man. I'm losing blue Pikmin. I'm gonna have to... Gonna have to use the, the red Pikmin. They're much tougher. Come on. Come on, move. Move. Move already. Come on, move. Move. Won't move. He won't budge. He won't move. Oh, now it's moving. Yeah, yeah. The red Pikmin are more effective against this guy. Hey, over here! Almost there! Almost there. He's almost done for. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Yes! We did it! We took this guy out. Ooh. Also, if you're wondering what that pearl thing is, it's not a ship part or anything. Watch what happens when you give him to the Pikmin. Watch what happens if you give it to the Pikmin. Uh, oh, excuse me. Okay, they're bringing it back to the onion. Watch what happens when when the when the blue Pikmin take it back to the onion. Come on, bring it back. Watch what happens. Voila! 
I have made yet another pick. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just as I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onions stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. Yeah, you can have at least, oh, you can only have up to 100 you can only have 100 Pikmin in the field. Yeah, you can only have a hundred Pikmin in the field. I'm just gonna let the rest of these Pikmin grow. I'm go we're gonna find a ship part that's somewhere over here. The radar says that there's one right here. This way. Whoa! Wally Hop! Oh yeah, these are water dump holes. They're uh they're close ancestors to the uh the uh red bull warbs. We didn't get a ship part today. Dang it. Oh well. We're gonna have to make up some time tomorrow. 13 days since impact. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to recover virtually all of, the, of my missing ship parts. But not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seem to be some pieces that remain un, unaccounted for. I must find 10 more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. So I'm going to stop right here, and in the next episode, we're going to find some more ship parts here in the distant spring. So thank you guys for watching this episode of my Pikmin Let's Plays. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, share on social media, yada, yada, yada. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!